Visítanos en asdetrebol.com, la mayor tienda de magia con los mejores precios. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Wayne Houchin and I'm here to tell you about Art of Magic. Now I'm sure you've seen the official preview video, all the trailers and read the reviews over at the Magic Cafe and the other internet forums, but I wanted to take a minute and tell you straight from me in my own words what this DVD is all about. Art of Magic started off as, you know, this a, a total experiment. I had this idea of going out and making a, you know, somewhat of a documentary, like a mini documentary. And the concept, the idea was that I would film a series of interviews with magicians who all approached magic differently. You know, people who came from different generations, who had a different style. Uh, and, uh, and, and I, I was interested to see how, you know, all of those interviews would come together. You know, what some of the similarities and differences would be between someone, you know, who had a very visual style versus someone who had a, had a very talkative style. Someone who was, you know, very serious when they performed versus someone who was very... Um, you know, performed a lot of comedy magic and was very lighthearted when they performed. And I was interested in how all of those things would kind of mix with my own experiences and my own style and my own, you know, viewpoint on magic. Uh, and so what I did is uh, I headed out to Hollywood, California. I was performing for a week in the close-up gallery at the Magic Castle. And while I was in town, I sat down with Dan and Dave Buck, Aaron Fisher, and David Regal. And I just filmed uh, hours worth of interview footage. Um, I had a whole list of questions that I was just asking them all about magic, about performing, about how they got into magic. Uh, why is magic powerful? What are some experiences that, uh, that they've had while performing that have been particularly powerful? Um, what advice do they, would, would they give to someone who's just starting out? What, what do they know now that they wish they would have known when they just started? And again, to me, it was really interesting you know, listening to their answers and, and, and filming all that because Dan and Dave, you know, very visual, very, uh, you know, all, all card based and, and incredibly visual magic. They don't, they don't really present much when they perform. You know, there's really not much to say, but what they can do is beautiful. You sit there and watch them and it's just absolutely stunning. David Regal, uh, incredibly funny. Cigarette catcher. Uh, it would have a description beyond belief. The magician shows an empty hand, reaches into the air, and produces, from nowhere, a cigarette. He takes the cigarette, tosses it into his hat, or other convenient receptacle. He reaches up, catches another cigarette. But wait, there's more. He catches as many cigarettes as he desires. Something as many as he desires? Do you have to, like, fill up a room under the floor? This is the most amazing thing. Is it some vacuum tube device that goes up your leg? As many as you want. <laughs> but wait. After catching as many cigarettes as you want, the magician makes a pass over the hat or receptacle, and all the cigarettes vanish. <laughs> what kind of cigarettes are these that dissolve when exposed to air? It seems like the power of the Olympians is now with you. And then you look down to the price, 15 cents. Oh my God! It's like you've opened some magic box to another dimension. How? They're losing money. You could tell talking to him that he's, he's, uh, he's put so much thought into each and everything that he does when he performs, the type of magic that he creates. Um, you know, everything is incredibly purposeful with him. And he's so fun too, he's, he has such a, a, a dynamic viewpoint and a, and a fun way of, of explaining certain things and explaining things that really get him excited about magic. And then of course there's Aaron Fisher, who, uh, you know, just technically brilliant, who, who does everything from, you know, incredible close-up card magic to now he's jumping up on, on stages in front of audiences of hundreds of people and entertaining them. He's very, very funny and very dynamic. And, and uh, you know, Aaron's just a, such a great speaker. And once you really get it into your mind that the effect only happens in the spectator's mind, not in their eyes, not in their ears, not in their fingers, those are the ways that they get the input, but the entire effect happens in their mind. In many cases, that really allows us to stop working for the eyes, stop working for the fingers and the, and the ears and start working for the mind and using those different sensory elements as buttons to press to get effects inside that mind. So that's what we do. That, that's not, it's not how do we use that to make our magic better. That's all we do.
But then the contrast between Regal, who comes from a completely different de generation, and Dan and Dave was really interesting as well. Uh, and I learned a lot. I learned a lot about, um, you know, about the similarities and differences between how all of these different people approached magic and how that meshed with how I approached the art of magic and how I grew up in magic and how I got started and the things that really excite me and interest me about magic. So anyway, so we filmed this whole series of interviews uh, that was so much fun to do and we start putting them together. Dana Hawking and myself start really editing all these interviews together. And in the editing room, I realized that there were certain points that were made that were really good uh, that could be better illustrated with a live performance. And so Dana Hawking and myself set out on a cross-country journey. Uh, we started over in Florida on South Beach in Miami and we filmed Street Magic or Beach Magic, I guess, on the beach there. Uh, and we worked our way all the way back to, um, to the Magic Castle and we filmed, uh, we filmed a few things there in Hollywood and we ended up in Fresno, California at this beautiful sushi restaurant. Uh, we got permission to come in right towards the end of the evening and we sat down with a, with a group of people there who were there having dinner and drinks and, and uh, we shot just a beautiful series of performances there that just turned out great. But anyway, all these performances illustrated different points that were made throughout that interview uh, process, throughout all the interviews that we filmed with everybody and we started plugging these performances into that uh, the interview segment and what we ended up with was this uh, beautiful documentary that was different than what I had originally set out to uh, to do but uh, different in a good way um, you know it it mixed it mixes interviews with people who come from very different backgrounds who have very different styles with live performances that stretch from you know south beach all the way back over to california and the reactions that we got for the performances were fantastic. I mean, it was, we had a lot of fun doing it. It was obvious that the people who we performed for had a lot of fun watching the magic. And I decided that I would teach five of the effects that I performed. Uh, I would teach that on a separate section on the DVD. So what started off is this idea to do, you know, kind of a really neat documentary with interviews and performances eventually morphed into a really unique two-hour learning experience. Uh, so the, the DVD is two hours long. The first half of the DVD is the documentary and then the second half are all of the explanations to the five effects that you see performed in the documentary. And because of that, I, I don't know, it really, we really created something that feels different. I think with each DVD that myself and Dana Hawking work on, you know, whether that's Thread, which was our last big one, or uh, uh, stigmata, control, any, any of them, we're always kind of pushing the envelope saying, you know, what can we do different on this DVD? And it's, it's just exciting to start off with one goal and end up with something that's different but, but better. And so we ended up with a really unique two-hour uh, teaching DVD that not only teaches how to do certain tricks, but at the same time allows you to kind of glimpse inside the minds of, uh, of a handful of different performers and creators and you really kind of get a sense for how all these people approach magic and I think there's so many similarities that, uh, that come across when you watch it that it really makes you go, oh, I'm experiencing that too when I perform. And the one thing that I hear, you know, out of everyone who's bought the DVD because, you know, it's been out for a while and the reviews have come in. I've, I've been emailed reviews. They've been posted on the Magic Cafe and uh, Illusionist Theory 11, the other forums. Uh, the one comment that I hear over and over and over is that the documentary section with the performances and the interviews, hearing the advice from David Regal, Dan and Dave Buck, Aaron Fisher, and myself is worth the price of the DVD alone. And that's, that's a really cool thing to hear, that even though the magic on there is powerful and it is easy to learn, uh, that, that you know, the documentary that I set out to create is really what's excited people about this DVD because there is so much to learn. You know, sitting there interviewing all of them, there were little things that I was just like, wow, that's, that's really good. I never looked at that that way or I never really realized that consciously. And so all these things kind of come together and you end up with a, a really interesting DVD. So, what are the tricks? What do you learn how to do on Art of Magic? There's a very simple effect called French Kiss. It's my take on the classic two-card transposition, but this transposition happens in the spectator's mouth. Next, there's Twisting the Aces. This is my favorite card trick. Di Vernon's classic routine during which four aces, one at a time, magically turn face up. 
Next, there's Match Bite. Match Bite is a fun, quick, and visual trick that I developed during my years as a bar magician. <laughs> oh my gosh! Jay Senke contributed an incredibly powerful card trick to this DVD called Carbon Paper. It's an effect where the burn mark on the back of a card magically travels through the back of a spectator's hand and ends up on the back of their signed card that they've been holding on to the entire time. And finally, there's the WH Ring and String Mystery. This is my favorite effect on the DVD during which a string magically and instantly penetrates right through a ring. Art of Magic is so much more than your average instructional DVD. Not only is there the documentary portion of the DVD, but there are live performances and then the teaching. Now the teaching is taught very well with perfect over-the-shoulder camera angles making it possible for you to follow along step by step during each routine, which is really fun. Uh, but there is so much more to performing magic and presenting magic than just being able to do the moves, which is why at the end of the instruction for a particular routine, after you learn all the moves, we play the performance one last time, but this time with a voiceover. And during that voiceover, I talk you through each step as it actually happens during the performance, which makes it really easy to understand the timing of when the moves should be done, as opposed to just understanding how the moves are done. You also get to see how I handle a couple of unexpected situations that come up during some of the performances. All right, guys, I think we covered just about everything. So to recap, Art of Magic is a two-hour instructional DVD. It features a documentary with interviews from some of the most talented and respected magicians in the world, including David Regal, Dan and Dave Buck, Aaron Fisher, and myself. Live performances that stretch from street magic on South Beach in Miami all the way to the world-famous Magic Castle in Hollywood, California. And in addition to that, Five powerful pieces of close-up magic are taught so that you can learn how to do them to perform, entertain, and astonish your friends, your family, and your audiences. But Art of Magic is so much more than just uh, a collection of tricks. You really get to learn so much about performance, about how to entertain your audiences, about psychology. All the different things that come out in the interviews combined with the effects that you learn create a really unique and powerful and comprehensive learning experience. And in addition to that, the DVD is really entertaining. David Regal's hilarious. Aaron Fisher, Dan and Dave Buck are all great. The performances are fun to watch. We had a lot of fun making this DVD, and I hope that you enjoy it. Now, if you have any other questions about Art of Magic, please feel free to shoot me an email, wayne at waynehouchin.com. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you have. I guess that's it. I hope you enjoy Art of Magic.